Well, good afternoon. Jack here. We're uh, working away on this guy, this big bear here. Uh, give you a little rundown on what we've done so far. It's uh, we're getting there. Front brakes installed. Works nicely. Using the old cable. The rear brake cable is installed. So if I can get back there. Up and over. It'll come down through here. And connect into some... There's three pieces of metal. Two of them are over there. They've been painted because they were... We'll take you over there and see. This one, the pedal itself. What I did was, since they were so badly pitted and uh, chrome was flaking off, I sanded them down, sanded the rest of the chrome off. This one is not in too bad a shape. I guess I'll leave it alone in case I ever find some more of these that have a proper chrome on them. So I'll put this guy on. Another thing that was not good here was the bolt that goes through this and holds the um, the pedal or the uh, foot peg as well as this brake piece. I'm not sure exactly. I think something like that. But the, uh, the foot peg will be behind it. Um, it was terribly bent. I tried to heat it and straighten it out, but it's pretty heavy. Here it is. Probably impossible to get that straight, so I'll probably be looking for a new one on eBay. But it'll, it, it should work. It goes in the hole and screws in and everything. What else? Oh, one, one uh, how-to. When you're putting this cable in, do it before you put the fender on. Because it's a pain to try and get this down through here. There's not enough space for it. But, oh, I got the uh, center stand, kick stand, And I'm going to do a little bit more work on it today. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The old guy Jack here. Going to do some work on this today. Uh, this will probably be added to yesterday's uh, review. <laughs> so, I'm not sure what all I'm going to accomplish, but I'm going to start out by hooking up the brake mechanism over there for the rear wheel. Right here, there was only one of the three pieces that was uh, not just totally ratted out with uh, pitted rust and flaking rust. So I left it alone, but I painted the other two pieces. So, uh, I'll paint it up. They've been curing all night, so they should be in good shape. So we'll get go about putting that together and adjusting it so the rear brake works. Well, I got the rear brake working. It's not working the way I would like it to work, but it works. And uh, it'll stop the bike. It just doesn't release as well as I would like. So... Um, Right now, I've done most of the stuff that I can do. I really need an oxyacetylene torch to uh, bend that back like it should be. And I don't have one. I tried it with map gas, but that I let it work for, I don't know, 
15 minutes and it just barely got a little bit red but not quite through and it wouldn't bend so I may have to take it to somebody to get done right now I'm enjoying my uh, dessert nothing like a dream sickle anyway uh, I've done most of the things that I can do until I get the engine so I think I will uh, start working on that now okay so here's the other thing I worked on yesterday how am I gonna fill up this hole I think what I'll do is I'll set the engine on its edge and I'll melt some regular aluminum into that hole. Now that won't seal, but it'll give me a piece that has the shape of the hole. Then I'll take some aluma weld, which will seal, and weld that piece in with a flat top. Then I've got this piece made up. I'll put that in there. That attaches to this screw and I'll weld it down to the patch that's in there. That's my plan. Hopefully it'll work. 